Hey community of awesome, I'm Gabe and this is Bookish Pixie. So back when I did my Ask Me Anything vlog, somebody asked me about plot twists and I realized I somehow haven't talked about plot twists here, so no time like the present. The way I figure out plot twists for a work in progress is in one of two ways. They're either planned plot twists or surprise plot twists. I know the latter sounds a little redundant, I'll explain that in a minute. Let's talk about planned first. I find that when I want to create a plot twist that both makes sense in the story and is clever enough to surprise my readers, I usually have to do some planning. So while I'm plotting and I come to a point where I could put in some plot twists if I want to, I start asking myself some questions. First I ask myself, what are all the possible outcomes of this turning point in the plot? And then after I've created a list, I'll ask myself, okay, what are some other outcomes I didn't include? This is a way for me to kind of force myself to just push beyond the initial ideas. Once I've come up with an idea I really like, I ask myself, okay, how can I make this bigger or more surprising? And then once I have this big plot twist idea, it's a matter of weaving it back into the story. So I have to ask myself, okay, how can I hint at this? What foreshadowing can I use? And how is this going to affect the plot going forward? That's why it's a lot easier to do this when you are plotting. Okay, so those are the planned plot twists, but I have to admit that probably half of the plot twists I've come up with were also a surprise to me too, and that's why I call them surprise plot twists. So here's the thing, even though I'm a plotter and I plot out my whole books in advance, I write knowing that my outline is a guideline, not a rule book. That means that sometimes when I'm first drafting, I deviate from my outline, and sometimes those deviations are plot twists. I find it fascinating that this happens, but it does, where I'll be writing and then a new idea will hit me, and oftentimes those ideas are better than what I was originally planning. So I often follow those ideas because they tend to be pretty good, and that means that I do have plot twists that sometimes were a complete surprise to me too, which is kind of fun but it does mean that I have to rework that plot twist into the plot. And oftentimes that work comes in revisions where I have to weave everything in again and make sure it all makes sense. And that is how I write a plot twist. So that's what I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next week.